Are you wondering how to dress as an engineer? Well, in this video, we're talking about three reasons why a style is important and five tips so that you can look as good as possible. Hey, 1% Nation, I'm Jake Voorhees, and you are watching the 1% Engineer Show, where we empower young engineers to rise to the top 1% of their career. And if this is your first time here, guys, make sure you subscribe because I release videos three times a week for engineering success. And if you want the 1% Engineer Kit, which is a bunch of eBooks and resume templates so that you can win, click on the link in the description, join the community, and I'll send you that. Comment below on your favorite professional attire and why you like it so that more members of 1% Nation can learn from you. So let's get right into it. I've worked in plenty of engineering offices, guys, and seen lots and lots of engineers in my eight years out of school. And I've taken notes on how they dress, particularly the ones that I notice actually look good, and people say, oh yeah, they look good, oh yeah, they look great. And people who walk around very confidently and display a positive sense of fashion. So I've been taking notes over the years, trying to upgrade my style, trying to actually figure out what looks good. And these tips can apply to you whether you're an engineer intern, you're going out for your first job, you're going for a job interview, going to a career fair. There's something in here for all young engineers, except for the ladies. I don't have any tips for you. Reason number one is first impression. You can never get that first impression back and your style, what you're wearing, it's going to affect what that person thinks about you immediately. So if you're looking good, if you're looking very professional, say you have on a tie or a jacket or a nice shirt and pants that fit well, then that's going to reside in that person's mind forever after meeting you. And it's going to come communicate who you're trying to be in your career so much. Trust me, your superiors, older men and women in your career path that you're going to meet, they're looking at how you dress, they're looking at how you groom yourself, are you clean enough shaven. I personally rock the two-day beard very often, but they're looking at everything about you. Is your hair cut? Do you have nice shoes on? Are you actually wearing shirts that fit? Everything. So it's very important to make a great first impression and dress matters. Two, confidence. If you look good, it's going to help in how you feel about yourself when you walk into that room. If you know know you're looking fly, it's just going to help so much with how you look at people and your eye contact. The way you speak, you're going to sound more confident. Your overall mood, your mental space, everything is going to be better when you're looking good. You're just going to be a more confident person. And number three is career impression. You have to dress for the career that you want to have in the future, not just for today, but the position that you want in your life. So being serious about looking good and dressing very professional is communicating that you want to have the best career as possible. You want to be boss one day. You want clients who visit your office and greater superiors in, within the company who visit your office, visit your internship, whatever. You want them to know that you're serious about your career. And this is very important regarding the clothes that you wear and everything about your style. Number one, wear shirts that fit. It may seem really silly, but it took me several years to realize how to actually buy a shirt that fits me, that actually is formed to my body type, which is tall and thin. And I see people making this mistake all the time. They just wear shirts that look like they could jump out of a plane and survive because it's a huge parachute. Don't do that, guys. Just makes you look stupid. You have to wear clothes that actually fit you, not like skin tight, because that's not the best look, but wear stuff that's actually form-fitting to your body. Also, when it comes to choosing shirts, I really do believe in standing out from the crowd. I think the era of your boring, light blue business shirt, and especially white shirts, those are too formal anyways, but you should be wearing stuff that is a little bit different where you can actually differentiate yourself from everyone else. Some little polka dot patterns or little things like even like this shirt. This isn't something that I see all the time. And I'm sure you guys see in my videos the type of shirts that I wear. So try to stand out a little bit with your shirts and definitely make sure they fit. Tip number two, if you're going to wear a tie, it better be a skinny tie. Not like this one, like this one. The other day I saw someone wearing a tie and he was looking okay, but it was this huge pizza looking fat tie and it was so silly because he was a short guy and he was also pretty thin so it just did not match his body type at all guys the progressive trend is skinny tie go ahead and just google what celebrities are wearing and look at what people are wearing in movies men who actually know about fashion who are progressive skinny ties in no different than shirts that fit and later on when we talk about how pants should fit you do not want to be wearing your dad's old fat ties that's what my dad wears they just look silly they don't fit into modern fashion so make sure when you buy ties 
ties. You're not getting these crazy fat tapered ties that just look like big diamonds. Don't do that. Just look at the difference here. This is one of the first ties I bought and this is the type of skinny tie I buy today. And for the record, many engineering offices do not wear ties. However, I did work in one, the one in Vancouver for four years. We wore a tie Monday through Thursday and then rock no tie Friday. But regardless, you're still gonna go to events where you need ties. So you wanna have an inventory of skinny ties ready to go. Number three, tips about suit, tips about wearing a jacket. A lot of people think that engineers wear suits to work. That's not really true. Really just people in the financial sector and lawyers wear suits every day. But there are times where you're gonna go to fancy events. There are times when you're gonna have to do job interviews or career fairs if you're young. And you need to have at least one suit ready to rock. So again, just like shirts, you need to make sure that you're getting a fitted suit that you're getting it tailored after you buy it. You don't need to get one that's actually a custom suit that's way too expensive. Just make sure you tailor it so the jacket fits your body. And I wanna talk about suit color, jacket color. I think the era of black suits is over. Nobody wears black suits today unless it's to a funeral. So don't do that. I really like blue, light gray, and dark gray, what they call charcoal. My first suit was charcoal, it's a dark gray, and I don't like it as much anymore. I'm really into this shark skin gray. It's like a light gray suit that I have. It's really good because you can wear a black belt, black shoes with it, or you can wear a brown belt, you can wear brown shoes, whatever, you can wear blue, you can wear all different types of colors with a light gray suit. But just don't buy black and make sure it fits and think about the occasion for where a suit would fit. I really like the look with either suit, which is just matching pants and jacket, or just a jacket and you don't necessarily have to match it to your pants, but that look plus no tie can actually look really, really good. That's sort of my conference and event look of choice. If you want to do jacket and tie, suit and tie, that's usually pretty fancy, like job interview and major corporate event, Christmas party type of thing. But just make sure that suit fits, make sure that jacket fits, and make sure you don't go with black. Four, here's some pants advice. Don't buy pleats, and I believe you should be wearing less khakis today. Khakis are too old school, and just like Jake from State Farm with the khakis, I just think it's kind of like a mockery today. It's not really that serious. If you look around, a lot of people wear khakis and I believe you 1% engineers, just like your career, you should be trying to stand out. So I wear a lot of light blue, maybe some dark brown. I even have some cool chino teal colored pants like this, which are totally different. I've never seen anyone else wear these. And just like wearing a suit that fits, just like wearing a shirt that fits, same thing with pants. You don't want to go too tight. You definitely don't want to go too baggy, but wearing stuff that fits your body type, wearing stuff that fits your form, particularly if you're in shape, particularly if you're in fit. You should be wearing stuff that's relatively tight, but just not too, too crazy constricting. So buy less khakis, wear less khakis, wear slacks, and wear chinos. Chinos are kind of like a khaki-ish type pant, and typically there's some sort of different color besides your stereotypical pant colors. Tip number five, upgrade your shoes. If there's only one takeaway for you guys today, this is the one to walk home with. You can upgrade how you look, even if it's just with a golf shirt and jeans, by wearing nicer shoes. And you have like two categories of shoe upgrades. You have these like moderately dressy shoes. You can wear boat shoes or this is a Clark's Wallaby. I like these. I wear these a lot because I dress pretty casually at work. But on days when I do interviews, on days when there's more important people around, I'll wear a more serious actual shoe. Again, depending on my outfit, depending on the pants that I'm wearing and my shirt color, I generally always rock brown belts. I don't really like black shoes or black belts. So I'm usually wearing a light blue or a light brown type of shoe. But for you guys who are at the end of college, junior, senior in college and particularly young professionals, I would stop wearing sneakers altogether. You want to be wearing a more serious looking shoe. Ask any woman. The first thing they look at with men is shoes. It speaks to your maturity. It speaks to your professionalism. It speaks to where you're trying to go in your career. So go out and get some nice shoes, guys. And a bonus tip, guys, is to wear crazy socks. Again, just a common theme in this video is that your stereotypical old school, like black and brown socks, khaki socks, whatever, I hate those. I never ever wear socks like that. I go super crazy argyle and, and pattern and stripes and whatever. I think the crazier and the cooler they can possibly be is the best. Just look around at men who dress well. Generally, they'll have on a suit or whatever. They'll have like pink crazy pattern socks. It's a trend that we're seeing. It's very progressive, it's very fun. So you might as well just drop those black socks right now and start buying cool ones. You're not gonna regret it. So those are my top five tips for how engineers dress and how they should dress. And hopefully this helps you guys because it's taken me a long time to realize that little things like 
better shoes and shirts that fit. It's super important with how you look, how you feel about yourself and how your colleagues and your bosses and everyone in your company, internships, coworkers, whatever, are going to perceive you. You wanna dress for the success that you want to have in life, 1% Nation. So make sure that you follow these tips. Make sure you're standing out from the crowd. Make sure you feel great by looking awesome. And if you like this video, guys, make sure you subscribe because I release videos three times a week for engineering success. Thanks for watching the 1% Engineer Show, guys, and stay hungry on your quest to become a 1% engineer. Cheers!